Well, yet again, here I am talking about the religion of peace. People are asking, why does France keep getting attacked? I'll tell you why. Because of spineless so-called leaders like Hollande and French Prime Minister Manuel Valls, who actually said today that France must learn to live with terrorism. To a jihadist, that's like a red flag to a bull. It's total capitulation. If you're prepared to tolerate little children getting crushed by lorries on the streets of major cities, what else are you willing to tolerate? Sharia law? Islamists in positions of political power? Areas of Europe becoming Islamic caliphates? When Islamists hear things like what Vol said, they smell blood in the water. They know they're winning. That's why France keeps getting attacked. The terrorists are winning. They're winning because they're protected by a left-wing denial industry based around Stockholm Syndrome, apologia, and bedwetting. A president who daren't use the term Islamic terrorism. The future must not belong to those who, sl who slander the prophet of Islam. A presidential candidate who says that Islam has nothing to do with terrorism. A media that is so afraid to use the M-word or the I-word, they'd rather blame an inanimate object. Trucks don't kill people. The ideology of Islam kills people. What are you gonna do? Ban assault trucks. A media that bombards us with an image of a dead boy on a beach in Turkey to shame the West into accepting millions of Muslim migrants because it fits their agenda. While refusing to broadcast the images of dead children in Nice because it might upset someone. Because God forbid people might finally start to question if this really is a religion of peace. A left-wing echo chamber that satiates social media with violent videos of black men being shot shot dead by cops, then implores everyone not to watch videos of the carnage in France because it doesn't fit their Islamophile narrative. Social networks and governments that ban, harass and arrest critics of Islam while jihadists celebrate untouched. Governments across the West who import millions of Muslim migrants, a significant portion of whom support ISIS. A narrative that insists Western foreign policy is solely to blame. Really? So how does that explain why they're slaughtering people in foreign countries that have no connection whatsoever to Western foreign policy? How does that explain why they kill Shia Muslims all over the Middle East? How does that explain why the Quran directs them over and over again to kill the infidels? Now I'll tell you what aspect of foreign policy is to blame. French Prime Minister Valls saying that the jihadists France allowed to leave and enter the country were not a threat because they were, quote, fighting Assad. Just listen to the left's argument every time this happens. We can't allow this to divide us. We can't fight hate with hate. We can't let the right wing take advantage. Yeah, so millions of illegal Muslim immigrants may be entering Europe at an uncontrolled rate and raping and murdering thousands of civilians, but you know what really scares me? It's a political party I don't personally align with being democratically voted into power. If the right wing gets into power, that will just create more division and there'll be more attacks. In other words, we're not being nice enough to the precious Islamists. Don't upset them, appease them. Otherwise, they'll kill us. Yeah, because that's worked great so far, hasn't it? Look, we tried it your way, and you completely failed, okay? Multiculturalism has failed. These jihadists are pouring out of the Islamic ghettos that the left's mass immigration policies created. 35% of Muslims in France support suicide bombings. 42% of young Muslims in France support suicide bombings. There's been a terror attack in France every other month for the past 18 months. More people died as a result of terrorist attacks in France over the last two years than the previous hundred years. There have been 1,268 Islamic terror attacks in 50 different countries so far this year alone. Your Facebook profile pic filters didn't stop that. Hug a Muslim didn't stop that. Pray for hashtags didn't stop that. What will bring a stop to this? Ending the climate of political correctness that stops people from reporting suspicious activity for fear of being called racist. Not importing millions of Muslim migrants, many of whom refuse to assimilate into our society and then help create Islamic ghettos that become breeding grounds for terrorists. Deporting terrorists instead of giving them refugee status in the name of human rights. Deporting hate preachers who infest mosques throughout Europe. A complete Hull on immigration from Muslim countries, recognizing that Islam is not a religion of peace and has been at war with the
the West for most of modern history. Now, I know that many of you do actually hate the West, and that's why ISIS brags in its own manifesto how they're going to recruit you because you share the same goals. But for everyone else, this is a war. We're in a war. Do you understand that? Nazi Germany was not defeated with hashtags, flowers, candles, or Facebook likes. It's not pray for Nice. It's fight for Western civilization. How many crushed, mangled bodies on the streets of European cities is it going to take for you to realize that? Come <laughs> on.